Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and check out the sponsor of this video, ToyHacks.com. Man, I love this star screen. I just wish you'd stand out in my collection a little bit more. Hey! Patriot Prime? Have you heard of ToyHacks.com? Yeah, I watch you and you talk about them all the time, but I've never ordered anything. Here, put these Toy Hacks decals on your star screen and tell me what you think. Hey, how'd you do that? Okay, give me a few minutes to put these on. A few moments later. Wow, Patriot Prime. Toy Hacks made my figure look amazing. I'm going to order some more right now, and I'll tell them Patriot Prime sent me. Thank you. You are welcome. Not only does Toy Hacks make decals for the modern Transformer figures, but they also make reproduction decals for the vintage G1s. Check out their toy stages to find a cool backdrop for your collection display, and visit the Toy Hacks Armory. They have a wide variety of weapons in multiple colors. And don't forget, each purchase with ToyHacks.com adds RoboSense to your account that you can use for future purchases. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. Happy first day of summer 2022, everybody, and have I got the perfect bot to kick off the summer season with. Iron Factory's EX55 Surfing Arrow, their take on Sea Spray. Now, I just got this figure in from ShowZStore.com, and he only took 11 days to get to me, and he came very well packed, so I can't recommend Store enough. You want to find some third-party figures and some really good deals on them, check out ShowZStore.com. I put a link in the description of this video. So now let's take a quick look at the packaging. We've got Surfing Arrow here on the side, IFEX55, Iron Factory, Surfing Arrow himself behind the plastic window, some great shots of Surfing Arrow in robot mode and his jet boat mode, side of the box, kind of a faded out picture of him, same thing here on the other side, back of the packaging shows him in all kinds of different poses along with the jet boat once again, and there's a QR code if you want to pause and give it a scan. So now, without further ado, let's get Surfing Arrow opened up out of this package and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Hang 10. Now, once you get Surfing Arrow all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions that, fortunately, is very well illustrated and easy to follow, which is always a blessing with third-party figures. He also comes with three extra sets of hands. I'm going to have to use my tweezers here for these. These are very tiny. You've got two gripping hands for his blaster. You have these partially open hands that kind of give a thumbs up. You have the open hands, just like that. And then the ones that come already attached to the figure are completely closed. And then lastly, we have his weapon, which is really cool. It looks like a harpoon gun. So now let's take a closer look at Surfing Arrow himself. In robot mode, Surfing Arrow here is a great reinterpretation of Sea Spray, giving him a very stylized and modern look. I absolutely love the sculpted details on this figure. He looks so good and actually has really, really great paint applications. Taking a closer look at the head sculpt here, that is beautiful. Look at the paint job on the eyes and they even gave him a silver face there behind the mouth plate. 
That looks awesome. Got some silver highlights here up top. Some gray and red on the chest. Dark gray on the knees. Silver there on the forearms. I mean, the paint applications look great. And I love the metallic look. Kind of makes it look like he's got some die cast on him. Yeah, this is an absolutely beautiful figure. And he cleans up really good. Doesn't have a lot of backpack or a lot of waffles, as they say. He is missing his propellers that he's known for. But as I said, this is a modernized take on Sea Spray. Uh, let's go ahead and get into articulation. The head is on a ball joint, but he's kind of hard to move around because of the intakes here or thrusters there on the back. You can angle these back slightly to get a hold of the head, but you're going to move that backpack down out of the way. But as I said, head's on a ball joint, can do a complete 360, look up and down, tilt all over the place. So you've got a lot of range of motion with the head. It's just hard to get a hold of. Arms can do a complete 360 as well. They're on ball joints, so they can go up. They can go down. There is a deep double-jointed bicep bend. There is a wrist rotation, and the wrist can actually fold in, but that's mainly due to transformation. And he has these flaps on his arms that can move up and down. And there's really no reason for these flaps other than just some extra aesthetics or sea sprays robot mode let's see we have a shoulder rotation right there there's a waist rotation man that is really really tight and he has kind of a <clears throat> excuse me an ab crutch but once again it kind of separates from the backpack legs can go forward they can go back they can go out they can go in there is a double deep knee bend right there and toe swivel it's not an actual ankle rotation it's only the toe so there is lots of great posability for this guy so let's go ahead and switch out some hands so i can uh, show off him with his weapon the little tiny hands here are attached via these little tiny ball joints so you want to be very careful with those so let's get him his gripping hand here get that attached it's hard to get a hold of. So I've got that one on. Now, let's get a, let's see what he looks like with an open hand. Make sure we got a lefty. They, these little hands are a challenge. There we go. So now we've got the gripping hand. We've got the open hand. Let's go ahead and put his harpoon gun in his hand. And there we go. There we have surfing arrow all armed and ready for battle and that actually looks really cool i love the posability with this guy i mean he's really coming in to open fire on the decepticons that's awesome i love this i love this modern take we just don't get enough sea spray figures a very underrated character in my opinion so now let's go ahead and get surfing arrow here all transformed first thing we're going to do is remove the weapon and you're going to have to replace the hands he needs to either have in his grabbing hand here or the closed fist let me see if i can find that again we'll go ahead and put in and make sure i get the left one okay so i've got in the grabbing fist and the closed fist so what we're going to do first is with the toes fold the heel spur or the feet rather, fold the heel spur all the way back and bring the toe down and flush. Now you're gonna bring out this section here on the leg. It's this front panel. You're gonna bring it up and over, just like so. Do this on the other side, up and over. And we're gonna rotate at the waist and go ahead and unfold his backpack. <clears throat> now, sorry guys, my allergies are killing me this morning. And now we're going to spread the legs out and angle them right here, just below the ball joint. So get these spread all the way out or opened up all the way. And you're gonna match up tabs right here. So you got these little yellow tabs that are gonna go there while matching up this tab underneath as well 
So you got blue tab here, yellow tab there. So get those lined up. It's easier to go in from the bottom. So you see what I did there with the two tabs? Do this here on the other side. Another thing I like about this figure is the plastic feels really good. It doesn't feel brittle whatsoever. So now we've got this going on. You're going to rotate Surfing Arrow's head around. If I can, <laughs> it's so hard to get hold of. Rotate it around and fold it down, bringing up this whole section here. Just like so. Now, you're gonna take his arms, bring these back, turn them around. So you've got this little hook right here. So you're gonna bring this over and you're gonna put that little hook through that little hole right there. So get that lined up. And pressed into place. And I just unpegged the entire front of the vehicle. You know, I've transformed this guy probably 10 times. And of course, as usual, per, per the rules of YouTube, you do this on YouTube, you do it on camera, you're gonna screw it up. So go ahead and rotate that other arm around, push it into place, get the little hook in. Go ahead and reattach the pontoon. So there you go. Now, you're gonna fold the fists in like so. Actually, leave those out. Bring the arms up and over on that double bicep bend. Fold the hands in. <clears throat> and there you have Surfing Arrow in his vehicle mode. Oh yeah, one more thing. Take his blaster, his harpoon gun, fold the handle down. And you see that little square hole right there? It's gonna match up to that square peg on the front of the vehicle. And now we have Surfing Arrow in his vehicle mode. And I love the looks of this. When I first saw this, I thought of the game Hydro Thunder because this looks like one of those jet boats. I think this thing looks great. Aside from the hands right here that you can plainly see. As I said earlier, you have to use either the gripping hand or the closed fist and the closed fist looks a lot better. Now you could just go ahead and pop the hands off to completely hide those. So that looks a lot better, but then you risk losing those little tiny fists. So completely up to you. Get those ball joints folded back in. So yeah, that looks a lot better right there. But as I said, you don't want to lose those tiny little hands. Maybe that's why they gave you so many. So yeah, this is a really cool looking jet boat. I actually like the translucent can translucent canopy right there. I think that looks good because you don't see a lot of robot junk on the inside. And it's just crystal clear. They did a really good job with that. Figure all the way around, a little bit messy here in the back, but for what it is, I think he looks great. An awesome update to Sea Spray. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Iron Factory's EX55 Surfing Arrow with Generation 1 Sea Spray, iGear's Spray, and Titan's Return Sea Spray. Iron Factory's EX55 Surfing Arrow is a great little sea spray toy. And I do mean little. He's got some great sculpt work, fantastic paint details, and awesome robot mode. And man, I love his alt mode. The jet boat looks fantastic. I just really love this new modern take on sea spray. He is just badass looking. My only complaint with this figure is the visible hands. As I shown, you can take the hands off if you want to, but man, you really don't want to lose those hands because my gosh, they are tiny. So there you go, guys, the Iron Factory EX55 Surfing Arrow. So, does an Iron Factory EX55 Surfing Arrow belong in your collection? Well, if you're a Sea Spray fan, Absolutely, I love this little figure. He's a ton of fun, got a great looking robot mode, even better looking vehicle mode, 
and I just couldn't be happier with this guy. So yeah, if you're a Sea Spray fan, pick this guy up. You are not going to be disappointed. And as I said, I got mine here from showzstore.com. Really fast shipping. I got it in about 14 days. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do have a new super thanks button, thanks to YouTube, and I also offer channel memberships. And I have to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel growing. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime signing out. Hoo-ah! Now, I need to go get this regulation.